Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy. I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing and renewing and regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself. No doctors required. No alternative practitioners required. No naturopaths required. The human body does it on its own. And while some folks may call it a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your calls, and we can help you change your life. We can help you change the lives of loved ones today. This can be the best day of your life. If you're dealing with a chronic health challenge, we want to help you. 844-236-6010. Let us show you how easy, how simple it can be. Get yourself on a nutritional supplement program. Eliminate problem foods. Stabilize your blood sugar. Make sure you're oxygenating. It isn't that hard, folks. Let us help you. 844-236-6010. Guide you through the process. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, likewise, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have questions about Truth Skin Health products or comment or success story, we want to hear from you, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you want to purchase any any of the longevity products you hear recommended on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and you can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470 866-735-2470 Okay, so we're talking fats and fatty hormones specifically as it relates to the skin. We haven't really mentioned the skin too much in the last month or so, but that's how we started anyway, talking about fats and fatty hormones, making the, the major distinction between fats, fat-soluble nutrients and water-soluble nutrients. We've been talking a lot about distinctions between cells and tissues, how we want to focus on the cell, not the organ. We talked about micro-inflammation versus macro-inflammation. We talked about the distinction between the fatty, uh, fatty nutrients and the watery nutrients as well. Pretty much all diseases, all health misery, have some kind of link to fatty vitamins or f- essential fatty acids or the, the fatty system of the body. Fats are more difficult for the body to process. Water-soluble nutrients, electrolytes, B vitamins, vitamin C, these are relatively easy to absorb, although we excrete them readily. It's got the opposite problem. With fats, with uh, vitamin E, vitamin A, selenium, zinc, sulfur, essential fatty acids. With these fatty substances, you gotta have your gallbladder working correctly. You gotta have a gallbladder, which is one of the major reasons why you never wanna have your gallbladder removed. It's so silly when you understand how this thing is, how how the body processes nutrition, how the digestive system does its business. Why would you hack out part of your digestive system? Well, because we don't know. Nobody tells us our gallbladder is part of our digestive system. Yes, your gallbladder is part of your digestive system. If you have a stone, you've got a digestive problem, by definition. Gallbladder equals digestion. If you have a stone, you've got a, a digestive problem. That's, I don't know how, it doesn't get any simpler than that. That's not a reason to remove the structure. If you remove your gallbladder, you're going to have a difficult time absorbing nutrients, absorbing fatty nutrients. If you have an intestinal problem, if you have a liver problem, 34% of Americans have fatty liver disease. You can see why we're, begin to see why we're so unhealthy and none of this involves a doctor or shouldn't involve a doctor. 
Fat absorption is about intestinal health, it's about liver health, it's about gallbladder health, it's about stomach health, primarily. There's probably other systems that are involved. Primarily gallbladder, liver, stomach, uh, pancreas too, and the intestine. These are all areas of common breakdown as we get older. So as we get older, we're going to have difficulties with our fats, which means we're going to have difficulties with our fatty hormones. Uh, what woman can't relate to this? It's not like we need hormone replacement therapy. We've got to figure out how to process our hormones correctly. You know, as we get older, and our, as women get older, and their ovarian hormones, the production of hormones from the ovaries slows down, the adrenal glands are supposed to pick up the slack. Yeah, your ovaries aren't going to be doing their business post-menopause, but your adrenal glands are supposed to pick up the slack. But for most of us, our adrenal glands are so fried, so burnt out from 50 years or 60 years of bad living, stress, sugar, etc. the adrenals can't pick up the slack. And then you think you need hormone replacement therapy. Well, you probably do, but it would make more sense to focus on calming the body down so the adrenals can do their business. There was no hormone replacement therapy on the African savanna. We didn't evolve with hormone replacement therapy. We evolved. The human body today is a, is a, uh, a, by, is a uh, developmental product. It's the end result of an evolutionary process that had the adrenals picking up the slack. This is what I'm saying when I say the body is a healing system. It knows what to do. We just got to do the right things to support it. We've been talking about vitamin E, a stupendously, stupendously important fatty vitamin that nobody gets enough of unless they're supplementing. Fat, uh, vitamin E is a, a standalone vitamin, vitamin. It doesn't necessarily participate in chemistry, but it protects things. It's a protector. It's a protecting vitamin, a guardian vitamin. It protects against bombarding molecules from the sun, from oxygen. It's wonderfully sun protective. That means it protects your eyes. That's why you'll see it in eye vitamins. The eyes are kind of like uh, uh, cataracts and, and eye problems that, are, uh, that, occur, that accrue as we get older. It's kind of like sunburn of the eye in a way. It's, uh, it's a long-term reaction of bombardment from little particles of light from the sun without protective molecules like vitamin E. If you're dealing with any eye problems, vitamin E is a must, must have. Heart disease, oh my God, vitamin E is stupendously important for heart disease. And heart disease is another one of those unnecessary health issues. Heart disease and diabetes go hand in hand. Heart disease is uh, part of what's called metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is a diabetes-related health challenge, health condition that affects the entire body. Metabolism means the entire body, but especially the circulatory system, the kidneys, the heart, the, the, the vasculature, the blood pressure, as well as sleep apnea and obesity. These are all part of, they used to call it syndrome X, metabolic syndrome. According to the American Heart Association, one out of three Americans, this is from the AHA, one out of three Americans, 34% of Americans, are affected by metabolic syndrome, a sugar disease. This is craziness, folks. This is utter craziness. You can think of uh, metabolic syndrome as a sugar disease. And in my opinion, this whole idea of sugar, and I'm a sugar addict as much as anybody, by the way. So it's, it, we're hardwired to go for sugar. And willpower, it just doesn't work. The only way to really avoid the whole sugar bombardment disease, all the, all the symptomology of sugar-related diseases, is to eat more protein, eat more fat, and make sure you're, you're using nutrients that help the body metabolize sugar. The beautiful thing about diabetes and metabolic syndrome and sugar issues is it's reversible. Not only is it preventable, it's reversible. That means cure, folks. Reversible equals cure. And if you do it correctly, yes, you can cure. But I like reversible better because it tells you there's a, like a process that's happening. Cure is magic. Oh, we snap our finger. We cured you. Reversible means you just turn the equation the other way. You turn the chemical reaction the other way. And that's really what's happening. It's not a cure. It's a reversal. And it occurs all the time. I've seen it with my own eyes. I know some of you out there have experienced it. And yet it's the lead, uh, second leading, maybe uh, third leading, maybe the leading cause of death in this country. All right, I have pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you're leading, dealing with a health challenge you want help with, let us show you how simple and how easy. That's the key, folks. Simple and easy. Healing and health and wellness are built in. That means you don't have to do much. And that also means if you're dealing with a health challenge, if you're dealing with diabetes, if you're dealing with autoimmune problems, if you're dealing with chronic fatigue, if you know somebody who has cancer, whatever, it's simple and easy to not cure, reverse. Put the good stuff in and take the bad stuff out. Uh, it's about as simple as it gets. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% gel made without preserv preservatives, made with vitamin C and lots of retinol, and no silicon, and no wax, and no oil, and no perfume, and no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't use. Just four ingredients, basically. Our transdermal delivery matrix, retinol, vitamin C, and uh, you know what? That's it. Just three ingredients, really. TDM, transdermal delivery matrix, vitamin C, and vitamin That's all you need. That's all you need. When I was in the lab, when I was working in my compounding pharmacy, and I wanted a skincare product for myself, I didn't mix it up with oil and wax and silicon and water and blend it up with an emulsifier and put preservative. I went right to the ingredient shelf where I kept all the active material and put the active material right on my skin. Sometimes I'd add a little transdermal enhancer to, get the pen to improve the penetration, and that's it. And that's why I developed the truth, to give you the opportunity to treat your skin the way I've been treating mine and my friends and loved ones and people I cared about were treating theirs for 30 years. And that's why I developed the truth. And it's everything I wanted to do with my other businesses, but because of business concerns and partners, et cetera, I couldn't really do. So this is my gift to you. Truthtreatments.com. Check it out. Truthtreatments.com. Retinol 5% gel. Truth serum. Omega-6 healing cream. And our truth balm. Okay, let's see. Uh, childhood obesity, an exploding nightmare in the developing world. It's not just the developing world. In 2012 in the United States, this is according to the CDC, how can this even be? 33% of children and adolescents were overweight or obese. How can this possibly be? Millions and millions of kids are overweight and obese. How is it? Well, according to the CDC, it has to do with a caloric imbalance. Too few calories expended for the amount consumed. We're eating too much and not exercising enough. Well, it's more than that, unfortunately. You see, how we process calories has to do with nutrition. It's not just calories. Calories are macro nutrients. And that's another very important distinction. Making distinctions is critical to understand how the body works. So here's a, a very important distinction that nobody that we don't often make. Macronutrients versus micronutrients. Macronutrients are the calories. That's the protein and your fats and your carbs. Your micronutrients, those don't have calories. That's your vitamins and minerals and, and some plant nutrients, phytonutrients. And that distinction is key to understanding one of the major reasons why we're not healthy. Too much macronutrients compared to micronutrients. It's not that we're getting too much macronutrients only. That's what the CDC will tell you. That's what your dietitian will tell you. You're getting too much macronutrients. You're getting too much calories. No, it's more than that. It's the difference between the macronutrients and the micronutrients. We're getting too much calories for sure, but it's only relative to too little micronutrients. We're not getting the vitamins. We're not getting the minerals. We're not getting the accessory nutrients. That's why the more micronutrients you get, the less macronutrients you need. That's why people lose weight on the BTT. They're getting the micronutrients that help facilitate the way the body processes the macronutrients. Without the, without the vitamins and the minerals, your body can't use the protein and the carbs as effectively. Without the vitamins and minerals, your body can't use fat as effectively. And that's where the problems come from. It's not so much that we get too many calories, it's that we get too many calories without the vitamins, without the minerals, without the, without the uh, uh, plant nutrients. And by the way, plant nutrients count flavonoids and carotenes. These, these kind of fall in the little gray area. They're not, they're not vitamins and minerals. They're not so-called essential nutrients. They're not calories. They're not caloric. They're not macronutrients. They fall in a little gray area, but I call them 
I put them in the same category as vitamins and minerals, these phytonutrients, plant nutrients. I consider them personally essential, and I think they are essential. I think we 